Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, it's me, Voice. I'm a VTuber. Nice to see you all. It's good to know that there are so many people interested in this kind of videos. <laughs> so, okay. So today we have the fall of 76, you know, Fallout. I have been quite a fan of Fallout, to be honest, but I haven't been like an avid fan. I have friends in my channel who actually like, they are really, really, really into Fallout. Like, no way. They have the, all the games. They have played everything. And I heard about Fallout 76 a while ago, then I forgot it existed. Now, up until I found out this video, I was like, oh, it exists. I forgot this thing existed. So the fall of 76 is by Internet Historian. Okay, check them out. Nice. Hey, <laughs> So, let's go. I, I learned my lesson. I cannot skip the, the ads of this guy. I won't, I won't skip them. Okay, okay, let's go. Ready, set, go. Yeah. It has the rings. Oh, to travel there. Oh. Hi. The fellow till 76. What? If you found this tape, it means that everyone is dead. Oh. Or working at a different office. Oh. I don't well, know. Tell, you. Buckle tell up, me. Buckaroos. Today's lesson is the misfired launch of Fallout 76. Oh, you're right. They fucking killed themselves with this. 2018. So, oh, what? With everyone getting just a little hyped up. Have we waited yeah. long enough, guys? Oh, God. Yes, we have, Todd. I think we have. Right? Yeah. Fallout Let's go. 76, Bethesda's biggest game yet. My God, oh. it was exciting. And they promised we'd know more at E3. Oh, that's E3 a good one. Hype time. The press conference. Yeah. Sixteen times the detail. Okay. Nice. That's actually a really good thing. Lighting and landscape technology. Oh, that's really nice. Four times the map size. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. <gasps> the biggest one. Oh, yo. Oh my God. Biggest one yet. My God, it was exciting. Launch. November fourteenth, two thousand eighteen. Okay. The game goes live with a day one patch of 50 gigabytes it's the same as the f it's the same as once that's downloaded people start logging into the hellscape that is for gta 5 is the same and oh dear lord they never fix the bugs what so many of them goodbye world it was the fast goodbye body goodbye heads <laughs> bugs 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 everywhere. bugs Server crashes, game crashes, ah. old bugs oh. from Fallout 4. Use more than one nuke at a time, uh. server's dead. Text is oh. far too texturous, an all-consuming void. Airlock 307. Oh. Can't pick up stuff. Can't no, stop no, no, no. You cannot be you can. Frame rate problems, screen tear problems, getting too... This is what was done in Final Fantasy XIV, 1 upon no. attacked by invisible enemies, spawning too many enemies. No! Spawning too many god rays. Also, your camera sets after every session, and sometimes it goes underwater. What? Holotapes randomly play static, but too many holotapes mean none of them will play. Enemy none of them will... What? Far more A than I. Animation I. <laughs> Surprise. Floating objects so, and a trap oh, merchant. That's a VR. Just to name a few. Just a few. There's a great video that documents just the ones that he found personally. That video is three hours long. What? Three hours that long? You're, you're fucking Yuki now. Nah. CE348780. Oh. oh. Your data and force you to reinstall the game and console operating system. A few Yet. players had their computers brick entirely. Also, when the date rolled over to the 1st of January 2019, the nukes in the game stopped working altogether. What the fuck? Program in other years in an always online game, and a few players were straight. Oh my god! Other people's accounts. This guy had a level seventy-eight character that was randomly replaced with a level eight character. But this what? They couldn't do anything about it. That's a fucking joke, isn't it? That's actually a. Wow. Thrilled with this game. Wow. Yeah. Bethesda to know that. I get and they it. Want everyone else to know that too. But Bethesda owns the platform. Is Fallout 76 fun? Yes, it is. Banned for racism. Threadlocked. Oh! They have a outlet for their rage. The only solution was That's the worst the thing they have to do. Else. Reddit. Twitter. Ja. Bethesda's other games on Steam. The backlash was immense. Of course. The level heads would prevail. The reviewers would come out and say that the game isn't so bad. What? 
Give me them. Oh dear lord, they hate it. They hate oh this nice. Is so sad. Despacito, play country roads. What? <laughs> that fucking virgin? Oh my god, so bad. Is the worst the YouTube community had this to say. It's really okay. fucking boring. Oh. I barely bring myself to play it in order to finish this review. No one on staff Oof. wants to play any more of this video game. I'm not going to subject myself to another 20, 30 hours of this fucking mess. In short, no, my... 76 is morally, technically, and creatively bankrupt. The mods on Bethesda forums yeah. were working over time. The mods on Reddit almost gave up. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that some people didn't enjoy and have fun with this game. Some people are actually, yeah. But what I am saying is that the Metacritic was really funny to read. <laughs> so what happened? Well, it oh, it's much better the Metacritic than the game. The deadlines were tight. Too tight. Oh, shit. Plus, this wasn't Bethesda's A team. It's actually a relatively inexperienced division. Oh, is the way team. The scope of the game kept getting bigger. We're gonna need distant weather systems. Hey Todd, I stayed up all night and I just We're finished. We're gonna the... need sixteen times the detail. Please. Todd, what the fuck? Todd, no more. We're gonna need four times the size. What the fuck? That and they were trying to patchwork the old Bethesda creation engine into a multiplayer <laughs> framework. Oh. Yeah, that's why I give my kids Fallout 76. That fool Far. Oh! They could tolerate the bugs and the bad reviews and the irate players, but what they couldn't tolerate were the exploits. Uh, oh! Infinite inventory, infinite invisibility. The frame rate was tied to the game speed, so people were going a yeah. lot faster than they should. Server hopping for more items, infinite cash, and infinite duplication. Unlimited oh! Exploits, unlimited nuking. The nuclear codes were unencrypted, and you could wall clip into the quest room. And someone was given the oh, of shit. invincibility. Naturally, this can really mess with other players' online experience. Of course, it does. It's meant to play a game. Really with the ban hammer. This just and a blindfold oh, to wildly so play to take down anyone who Bam. Bam. But Bethesda wasn't satisfied with just banning people. Okay. So they're a progressive company. With big ideas. Big ideas. Oh again. shit! No. Support sent out this email to players caught cheating. We were no. To accept an essay on why the use of third-party cheat software is detrimental to an online game community. Dude, this is not That's high school. Right. This is not fucking high school. I'm a teacher. I do this to kids, to kids not to adults. But a couple of days later. What the, the fuck? Let's cause them to reconsider this approach. One more exploit. In all the Bethesda games, there's a dev room. Every item in the game is kept here. Yeah. Security has to be top notch because otherwise, someone could just waltz in and take all of the best items in the game, and it would be an oh. absolute disaster. Well, shit. Yeah. Of course, Bethesda wasn't equipped to deal with the issue. People started <laughs> flooding in, taking the best items in the game, then selling those items on a black market of sorts. Oh. At first, they tried the usual approach. Banning people who had some of the best items in the game. No matter what the fuck. hours just to get the best gun. Die, Die cheater. cheater. Next, they put in a system where players would get tagged if they ever entered the room. And they banned both so, players. Okay. Much better because people would just start using Smurf accounts. Get that's uh, that's actually true. Get all that good shit. Then get the fuck out. That's the best way. English to get a ton more of those items. Then transfer that stuff to your main account and you're good to go oh and the then they take out, out level, level one and calls it mission accomplished and you've just beaten the game yeah and you can sell it so the problem continued bethesda is running out of ideas to solve it there's a lot of speculation in the media and among players about how oh shit and, but no one except for the exploiters knows actually the these people go and make easy money with that act fast before but they want money the game. so they wrote another email and sent it out to the Smurfs. <clears throat> uh, hello, Cheetah. Do you want to tell us how you did it and we might unban you, please? Should what? Should we get back from you, the account will simply remain suspended. It's not known whether this approach works. Exit. But from what I've seen, it's still <laughs> Math possible right, to get to the dev room. Ah. Oh. November 22nd, 2018. Just a okay. week after the release, the game goes on discount. 
from sixty to forty dollars. Oh, that's a big up. To thirty. Oh, that's half the price. Fifteen on eBay. No. Giving it for free when you buy a PlayStation controller. Also, some stores are just zip tying it to other products. Oh shit! It's worth selling the thing at a price close to zero, because it brings people into the atomic shop, which is where the real margins are, and it inflates the poor sales figures. Let's have a look at those. The latest figures show 76 sold less than a sixth of what Fallout 4 sold. Oh. Yeah, there's not also good. been a massive oversupply of hard copies. Genius, I sold them a lot. When the thing is just a cardboard disc telling you to redeem an online code. And what? While sales are low, That's shitty. High. If you can give us two, that's better. People began asking Bethesda for a refund. 76 is not on Steam. It's on Bethesda's own platform. Oh so shit. Control. If players only played the game for a few hours, then generally they'd get their money back. However, it came out that people were sometimes getting refunds after a full 24 hours of play. Quite generous. Quite but generous, yeah. The spread to forums. Then to Reddit, Apocalypse and coming. got 12,500 upvotes informing people that this made pretty much everyone eligible for a refund, and the comments told them exactly how to do it. Oh because shit, it that's actually really nice upvotes. from the community. And their response? Shut it down, lads. No, no, no one gets a refund now. Everyone go home. Show's over. Show over. Show over. Service man, engage. Customers who have downloaded the game are not eligible for a refund. We apologize for the inconvenience. Die. A few things. Oh First, shit! They love mad. this. One yeah, of course they're going to get mad. Stop for refusing his refund. I mean, I mean, I get it. Do what a shitty game, they're giving refunds, but just because they want this? A bit of an overreaction. Yeah. But probably also fake. Of so course. The media. Do 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 <laughs> And third, a class action lawsuit. Their inconsistent refund policy and terms of service may not be so legal. Oh. It's actually so really awful. 2018, they got the to hell. Rathod LLP filed a class action suit on behalf of customers. Okay. Maybe picked up on that. Their main argument is that it's a sometimes unplayable game owing to its technical problems. Then they're refusing refunds, and that Bethesda is engaged in a strategy to release it anyway, and then slowly oh, of course. Way into a more playable state. Updates on this lawsuit are slow, so I'll keep you informed on the second channel. Okay. Add time. Add time. Look, there's a meteor headed straight to Earth. What? Oh my god. We must do something. <laughs> Was anyone curious enough to read about it online? Not nah, me. not. Not me nah. either. Nope. Oh, nah, no. I cannot read. I'm 25 and I cannot read. And I have died a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't let this happen to you. Get have curiosity to you. Street. It's Here's a stream of people with some of the best documentaries and non-fiction from around the world. Partial nudity? Maybe if you look No! Up, but more importantly, the most arousing thing of all. Knowledge. Knowledge. No! Android, etc, etc. It works on everything, okay? Science, nature. Even when, that, even in my, in my <laughs> Game Boy. LCDstream.com slash internet historian for unlimited access to the world's free top documentaries and non-fiction series. Use the promo code uh, Internet Historian during the sign-up process to get the first 30 days free, then cancel any time. Wink. Wink. Pl please. Look, I need, I need sponsors. I, need sponsors. I, I bought a lifetime supply of toilet paper. I can't, yes. I saving the money, but then I left it out in the rain and the crows got it. No! And now I'm back to square one. Please. No! Curiositystream.com. It's actually for boy, no! Let's rewind a little bit. Fallout fans made their pre-orders, and the most dedicated pre-ordered the Power Armor Edition. Oh! Wow. It came with a helmet, Power armor. box, map, army toys, and a genuine West Tech canvas bag. What? Fast forward to the release. And customers noticed that their precious bags, which are supposed to be made of the finest canvas in the land, yeah. look a bit different. In fact, it looks, looks like, like a plastic. bag the real bag should come in. Did they really just advertise one thing and deliver another? Yeah. Can't do that. Nah, that's actually all. Backlash, and people began emailing Bethesda, 
asking for refunds, asking for answers. Of course they will get that. Point, customer service is absolutely over it. They are done with the facade and they send this email in response. Hello, we are sorry that you aren't happy with the bag. The bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything about it. Yeah. That's whole email. Staff at Bethesda aren't even hiding there. That's actually bullshit. Naturally, the yeah, yeah, we can. Wild. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. Wow, yeah. Wow. I will say the same. The shaved everything off my face. Yeah, okay, gross. What the fuck? PR nightmare. We have to quell the outrage. What do we do? Well, I don't know. We've got this in-game currency. Let's just give them the minimum amount of that. Fantastic idea. The minimum. Hear ye, hear ye. Anyone who paid two to three hundred dollars for the Power Armor Edition is hereby entitled to five dollars worth of in-game currency. They get those. Oh. Five hundred atoms. Fuck yeah. What are you going to do with your atoms? I'm going to buy five eighteenths of the white paint version of the Power Armor. Whoa. What about what you? Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. <gasps> Fuck the bag. He's right. Fuck the bag. That's stupid. Of course, this was Bethesda's fantasy of what would happen. What really okay. happened was further outrage, and even the media started piling on. Almost <laughs> It even became part of that I love this. lawsuit from earlier. Bethesda put out a tweet apologizing for their curt customer service and gave a different excuse for why they didn't make the bags. A shortage of material, apparently. That was oh, I love because this. It turns out they did make the canvas bag, except they gave them all out to influencers. That's oh, bullshit. It's not the same one, of course, but it's sourced from that ever scarce material, canvas. Canvas. But what's yeah. more amusing is that it turns out there is a canvas bag in the game. If you don the postman's outfit, which of course oh. can be found at the atom shop. For seven hundred atoms. Ooh, just short. The short. Well, the bleating from the online community continued, and Bethesda's lawyers realized there would be trouble, so they decided to capitulate. All right, Talk, fine. You're fucked up. Your precious fucking bag. If you want to claim it, you'll have to fill out this form with your name, personal details, address, etc., etc., and we'll ship out the bag to you in four to six months. Four to six months. Oh, it doesn't quite end there. No, it's not hard to win. Bethesda is known for bugs. No. And of course, their website is a buggy mess, too. Turns out all of the customer support inquiries are unsecure and open to the public. In fact, people can open and close and change them at will. Listed are details of full legal names, phone numbers, home addresses, and more. If you've requested your canvas... Oh, you that's got. that, Alik. Yeah, no. Not knowing no. Really that's problem, actually legal. Bethesda panics. And temporarily shuts down the whole website. And that is the tale of the duffel kerfuffle. How could this have been so difficult? <laughs> they made one for New Vegas. One last Yeah, they made one for New Vegas, Vegas. that's true. Nuka Cola Dark. Pre orders available in September. Shipped out what on the November fuck? 14th. $80 plus postage and handling. Not cheap. Not cheap, but yeah. In turn, you got a very cool bootle. Looks good on the shelf. A great conversation piece with the family over Thanksgiving. Yeah. Or at least it would have been. November 14th came and went, and there was no rum. No. Uh, not to rum. Okay. A week later on November 21st, an email comes through. There's a delay. Things aren't up to the usual fallout standard, they say. Eh? The usual fallout standard. What is the fallout standard? They're not big enough. Things aren't up to the usual fallout standard. So we'll have it for you soon. No specific date given. No, okay. Nothing. What? Then Nothing. Then on December 5th, another email. Okay. Good news. We start shipping on December 12th. It's been nearly three months since you pre-ordered. But as a show of good faith, we made this promotional video for you. And this is okay. from tardy to retardy. No. Right there. Did you catch that? That's just a regular industry bottle and a plastic shell. We paid eighty dollars and waited a quarter of a year for a plastic shell. A plastic shell? shell? People what? People are not happy. Look at that ratio. 
Nothing in the marketing said that it was a plastic shell. Super premium, we were promised. And the media agreed. Yeah. It's completely backlash. What the fuck is going on with Bethesda? Thoth, what the fuck happened to you? Cancelling their orders. Silver Screen tries to convince people that it's not cheap and shitty. It actually costs us twice as much to make the plastic one than the glass one. Then what the fuck? What the fuck? We spent a hundred hours coding the design. Convincing stuff. Who so the design? Just a few days before Christmas. The rum is about the quality you'd expect. Shitty. Can I swear on this? It's my own show. Ah. Worse is the design. The oversized lip means liquid can pour inside the shell. Hard to pour because how they made this damn thing. Yeah, no. That's actually bullshit. So you're best off opening the whole thing up to prevent spilling. If you do that, there's a good chance that you'll snap the flimsy plastic. Any liquid will immediately ruin this cheap paper sticker. So oh. made their own home and the quality was about on par. But look, if you do want a decent version of this product, there are reputable sellers of them. They're on Etsy. On Etsy, They're far oh. Cheaper, and they actually give a shit. They yeah, actually, oh, ago. yeah. Some of the memes that came out of this were pretty good. <laughs> no, now, no, no, no. Claim that this was it's a, a, it's a pretty sorry. rolling. Well, sorry, the no. Were at fault for misinterpreting ambiguous marketing. I disagree. And this is All of the marketing shows other glass items. All of the mock ups show something more akin to frosted glass. Than yeah. Plastic. They give plenty of descriptions of the product too, and not once do they mention plastic. And they were engaged in a bunch of other tomfuckery as well. Before the product was even available, they flooded their own product reviews with a bunch of five stars. They actually put bots. And people on Reddit even called them out for it. So they deleted them. You can see all this activity on the Wayback Machine. Oh, yeah, like that's nice. This way. It seems silly to give them the benefit of the doubt about the glass. It's also worth quickly talking about the Bethesda merch store. Some of the- Oh, I had a smart. That's cool. Good idea. I'd have that. I don't like that. Six pant. Singular. But why is he so mad? The photography yeah. is all just slightly- <laughs> no, This gaudy jacket was mocked relentlessly on social media. But does the 76 in 276 dollars really make it more immersive. No, he's not. I just toss it on the ground. And it comes in this crumpled up toddler body bag. You're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in merch and you don't have an iron? Why is she wearing the size XXL? She's clearly not happy about it. But who of looked course at not happy. and said, good job, print. Print. No. Now so that's it. surprising. And what the fuck? They made the bottle properly. Yeah, one of those, please. But bigger and brown. And brown. Is that so hard? Let's get no, back to the game. December but they didn't want to. There are two new patches released that caused quite a stir. First, the good. For PC, the game they karma. included a number of quality of life improvements, including push to talk. Oh, uh, chat. Voice oh, chat. And field of view sliders. Hooray. Increased stash capacity. Wait, stuff is actually come have a backlash. And a small buff to automatic weapons. Hooray! They decreased the carry weight of bobby pins so it no longer took up 10 to 20 percent of people's inventory. Oh, that's actually that nice. That said, that said weigh these. <laughs> <laughs> there were also upgrades to the camp that allowed for easier construction and mm -hmm. a bunch of bug fixes. Hooray! All right, they did something. The bad. Oh. A whole bunch of unannounced stealth nerfs. They generally made the game grindier. Emo production was decreased. Fusion cores burnt out faster. Legendary enemies spawned less frequently. On guard, I'll fuck you up. And the backlash <laughs> was significant because everybody knew why Bethesda was doing it. To encourage people to use the atomic shop. Oh, the, the paint shop. Okay, that's actually the real reason. Yeah. Some of the prices are outrageous. A Christmas tree for twelve dollars. That's so uh, no. 20. That's the worse than Final Fantasy fourteen. Eighteen dollars. Mock station. Look, three dollars for the same sweater vest and slacks item imported from Fallout Four. But the biggest offense of all was the holiday emote bundle. Twenty-four dollars for some Christmas-themed emotes, twice the price of these games. 
Ooh. prices. But worse, they're engaged in some deceiving marketing practices too. Oh look, it's uh, oh, half shit, price. five percent you. But it's not. It it's was not. released half price. They're artificially jacking up the price, only to then give it a fake limited time discount in order it to looks a sense of urgency. That's oh, illegal. That's Here illegal. Australia, at least in Canada and in the EU. The EU, of course. This and pointed it out. Bethesda reacted by scrapping the discount and just setting it as the always intended price. Okay, it's been about so? five minutes of whining now, so I'm just going to leave it here. I didn't even get a chance to touch on the new pay-to-win fiasco. The new pay camera to fiasco. To teleport, dwindling player numbers. But on the flip side, they're also adding new content and improving the game over time. Heck, No Man's Sky was a surprising comeback. So, maybe Bethesda can do it Nah. Too. I do believe so. But for now. Todd returns to cryostasis. Todd returns to cryostasis. Hiding in his bunker until the bombs of outrage stop falling. That's how he has to do. Not talking. Only when it's time to get our hopes up once again. Why, right, Todd? You're going to come with Scrabbling again? So fuck off. Curiositystream.com. No. Okay. Not many people know this, but I'm actually quite a good rap artist. Oh, you rapper, tell. If you will. No. So I'm going to say all these names for you from the credits as fast as I possibly can, in time with the scrolling. Here we go. One okay. Take. I one take. Come on. Just deal. Miles Millican. Justin Rowling. Uh, on with Steve Rizzo, Drudders, Indigo Zero, <laughs> Luke Hackle, Astatine 210, oh, fuck. Jordan Prince, uh, Dr. Tex, Papa Spicy Peter, Tef, Edgy Kid X, <laughs> Bryce Toiler Ham, no, Nate Odenkirk, but Sanya Waffles, uh, Krabby. <laughs> if you want to get read by the rapist, then why don't you head over to the page burn? Uh. Come on. Nah, that, 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 that's actually a good try, let's be honest. <laughs> let's be honest, but I learned to apply for him. To be honest, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, I know for a fact that this is still having like more drama like, like this year because they actually prior, like plagiarize uh, a fan art from Elder Scrolls uh, to make it in Elder Scrolls Online. I said that too, and <laughs> you know, Bethesda fucking things up. That's actually normal for them. I wasn't expecting anything, but I got more than I expected, which is more drama than I thought. There's no wonder I was never into uh, Fallout 26. Do you know whenever I'm like saying, yeah, this game is going to be shitty, it's also shitty, and this game is going to be shitty, it happens. It was uh, a circus of you know, of Bethesda. Bethesda made the feel of themselves, and that's actually nice. I don't mind them. <laughs> so, that's going to be all for today, because, uh, yeah. I am uh, like, I am more than 700. I'm so happy. I'm going right to 1K. I'm so happy. Thank you, everyone, for coming to my stream. Take care, and remember to always comment on me what videos you want me to react, or what games you want me to play. Uh, I've been ha I've been opening emergency commissions. Uh, you can check on my coffee, and you can check on my community post that uh, I'm actually running away from home. <laughs> Sorry, I'm running away from home actually. So I am preparing things so I can survive without needing to go back to with my toxic family because my phone is quite abusive and quite toxic. And they're not supportive of anything. Like they actually um threaten me like every once in a week to actually break my computer with a hammer. Things like that happens. And it's not good for my mental health because they actually is really, really awful. So I'm really, really, really sorry. Uh thank you everyone. Uh take a good care and bye. Adiosito. Take care.